front of you. I counted everything in front of you. I won. You know what? Stare at the ceiling. Stare at the ceiling. You two, you two look at the ceiling. You're just sore losers. Uh, what happened, wife? I won. Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about different ways to uh, fight off the boredom and keep yourself sane while you're going through any kind of uh, social distancing. Social, social distancing, distancing, you know, quarantine. Basically ways to stay engaged with your family and your friends when you can't be in the same room together. Exactly, exactly. So maybe you've got the kids at home, maybe it's a long extended break, maybe you're under quarantine, maybe um, maybe you're just out RVing and you miss your friends and family because you're out on the road. Um, these are all going to be different ways that you can stay healthy mentally, stay fit, um, stay engaged, mm -hmm. and keep in touch with all the people that you love. Before we get started, we'd like to ask you to subscribe to the channel. We put out content every week. And if you click the bell icon next to it, you'll get notified whenever we upload videos. And if you end up finding this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. One of the things that I love to do is cook. And there's lots of recipes out there. We actually have a bunch of fun cookbooks based on TV shows, movies, and things like that that provide not only fun new recipes, but kind of an interesting twist on um, it. The a piece of Cassandra. Can I see? Ooh, does it need to be moisturized? It does need to be moisturized. See, look at that. We have all of this stuff. Another good thing to do when you're stuck inside and you can't be outside, start your next home improvement project. There's always something. <laughs> I have a very long list of things to get done. We have a very long list of things to get done. No, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna sit back and watch. Your home is full of nature too. Uh, well, not hopefully your home, but maybe surrounding your home, like Could your be. backyard. We have quite the collection of critters. Um, we have tons of birds that come and see us because you know we feed them, we lure them to the deck. And my squirrels too. And I am determined to be the next Snow White. They are gonna be eating out of my hand by the, by the uh, end of the year. So get to know your backyard birds. Make backstories for them, give them names. <laughs> <laughs> no. And personalities. No, but a lot of, I know that our Missouri Department of Conservation has an online wildlife guide. So Malcolm and I will often feed the birds and then the next day we'll sit there and, and look up who's coming to, to, who's coming to have a snack on our deck. Right. Yesterday we had Bob over. Bob's got a little bit of a social anxiety problem, <laughs> but he's getting over it. Another fun, Thing to do, especially if you have little kids in the house, is to maybe bend the rules a little bit and let them have some crazy wild fun inside. For instance, no throwing is one of our rules and bed pillows stay on beds, but uh, that didn't happen <laughs> earlier and we built the pillows into a fort and we had a big battle and we got to throw things in the house. So. <laughs> Consider bending your rules just a little bit while we're all going stir crazy. Something else you can do is take a trip without actually taking a trip. There are a multitude of museums that have virtual tours, as well as a lot of the state and national parks. Yeah, it's a great way to get out and see what's out there without having to get out there. <laughs> right now, we are encouraged to not get out too much. Um, and be around other people. But in, in other times, we may just not ever make it, or it may be a while before we make it to certain parts of the world or certain parts of our country. So it's a great way to sit down and get some kind of an experience for what's out there. That is so hey, cool. look. look at that. That's a mouse. Is that a mouse building? Well, it's a mouse that's painted on a building that's by Banksy and that looks like you don't a... like on that okay I'll, I'll like that one sure with the technology that's out there now we all have cell phones we all have access to video chats video calling whether it's Google's duo um, iPhone iOS's uh, FaceTime uh, Facebook's got their thing I mean there's just tons of different video uh, chat methods out there now 
So why not gather everyone virtually with your, with your phones, call people up, set them around the table, play some games. You guys can play card games, we can play um, board games. We played Monopoly with the kids that were off at school. Yes, um, I won. Yeah, I won. Um, and you could play Pictionary, um, tell stories, or just sit around and, and chit chat. You can even do Facebook's got watch parties and things like that you can do with your friends and your family. And you have that sense of being there and experiencing the same thing at the same time without having to be in the same room, the same country even, the same state. Yeah. So take advantage of things like that. It's, um, it's great. And when we started doing it, we thought it was a little weird, but it became very natural very quickly and it became a lot of fun. It was a great way for Malcolm to catch up with his siblings. And honestly, even though they're older, they had a good time too. Yeah. All right, Malcolm, it is your turn again. Okay. Shaking them really well. Whoa, that is 11, son. Where did we leave you? So one fun way to pass the time, um, if you're stuck at home, is to learn a new skill. Out on YouTube, there are tons of videos learning new skills, and many of them you can practice inside your own home. Uh, Katie and Malcolm are learning to play the guitar. I have two beautiful guitars and Malcolm just got a ukulele for his birthday and I have no idea how to play those instruments. So together we have been watching some YouTube channels and learning. There you go. Very good. When you're spending time with your family, don't forget the furry members of your family. Teach your pet a new trick. Cats can learn to fetch, dogs can learn to roll over. It's fun and they'll learn a useful skill too. Okay, so you can still social distance and be outside at the same time. Take a walk. Also, if you're a little bit more on the competitive side, you can run or walk a virtual race. There are several different companies now. Um, I use YesFit and my metal collection is starting to get impressive. So get outside, earn a medal, get some exercise and some fresh air and some sunshine. Right, to do those virtual races, you do need a fitness tracker though. So some kind of a Fitbit, a watch, um, I think even an app on your phone at work. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the wrist worn ones or the ankle worn ones are the best. Yes. Ooh. And while you're out and about taking a walk or um, visiting a park, we visited a drive through park that we have around here where there's some animals and stuff. It's a lot of fun. Um, there are a lot of AR games on your phone. So stuff like Pokemon Go, there's... Um, you gotta catch them all. Yeah, the, there's Ingress, I think there's a Harry Potter version. There there's is. the... Um, Jurassic, Jurassic World. Yeah, Jurassic World version. So there's lots of things you can do. Obviously not while you're driving, but um, passengers in your car, people that you're kind of sequestered with mm -hmm. can, can play, you can pull over. Hopefully our tips and ideas have helped you out, given you some ideas of your own even, sparked your own imaginations on things that you can do with your friends and your family to pass the time as you're stuck homebound for whatever reason. Um, if you have anything great or interesting, Go ahead and um, give us a, a comment below. Let us know. Share with the community. Yeah. So thank you for watching, guys. Give us a little thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon because we put out videos every single week. And uh, stay safe out there and wash your hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Bye.